Okay, to start the video, I'm really sorry because Alec is very sick. We don't know what's wrong with him, and we kind of don't want him near us so we don't get sick. Leanna is off somewhere at music, and we had to cut out Charles first because that was Leanna's role. Once again, I'm very sorry. Okay. I okay. will be playing the role of two people, filling in for Alec as Emmanuel Kant. I, when I'm in this chair, I'll be Emmanuel Kant. And this is her, I'll be Alexander Pope. So, thank you. And she will be Lady Mary Shepherd. Lady Mary Shepherd. She be our woman for the project. Thank you. And we're sorry for the inconvenience. Let's begin. Hey, Lady Mary Shepherd, what are you doing today? Uh, not so much. Did you hear about our new king? Joseph the second? I think he's pretty cool. I don't know. He's okay, but he's a big proponent of the absolute is an enlightenment theory, theory, but um, movement, and I'm not sure how I feel about that right now. I favor more of the theory of humankind as a part of nature and coincides with everything else, and he's more focused on the natural law and mercantilism. Yeah, well, I'm one of the ruler who can do some awesome math, because math and physics, those two things are the basis of the universe, and without it, none of us can live because that's what makes us all human and together. I agree with you, but if a king becomes king, it is his purpose, it is his cause on this earth. But a man who is going to be our king has to be educated also well, has to be able to read and write along with that. I agree that an education would be important to us without the education that is required to make rational decisions based on your people and then your entire civilization will be turned into chaos and destruction. That would be very As a matter of fact, I'm writing a book right now about the intellectual differences between men and women on the break of the law. I think it's a very amazing book. I think it will be too. Bye, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I'm really sorry. We had to steal some points from people who are in our group Alec and Lana. Anna is at a music concert for her next class, and Alec is sick. I'm very sorry. Hey, Lady Mary Shepherd, what are you doing today? Oh, nothing much. Did you hear about the Enlightenment movement? No. Well, you know how, cool, how we have had absolute monarchy mm -hmm. lately? Well, a bunch of people have begun rebelling, most of the philosophers and artists and other people like that have started rebelling against them, and they are, the rulers are very mad about that. I can imagine so. It's good that they're rebelling. Why is it good? Because that means that we can be open to more ideas. But we won't be limiting our thinking as much as we have been with our current rulers. Exactly. If we... We get people with different outlooks, we can expand the thinking. That's why if you rebel against authorities, it can be a good thing. I think that obviously if the, the rulers that we have are not educated, then we can't have a very good civilization because then they will make bad decisions and the whole place will crumble and be bad, be a bad place to live. Bad. Yes, and that's another reason to rebel. If we don't have a good ruler, who's going to take care of us? Nobody. Exactly. It would be bad. It would be bad. Well, thanks for having this chat with me. You're welcome. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.